Good day and welcome back to the Family Cyber Clinic. This week we'll be discussing multi-factor authentication. Many of us are simply incapable of constructing or remembering complex passwords. We've shared enough videos about password security. Many create simple passwords like welcome one, password one, password one, two, three. You see, the clinic is always looking for ways to protect the few who fall into this category. Multi-factor authentication is just one of the ways to provide this protection and it makes even the worst constructed passwords a lot more secure. Okay? All right. If you're visiting this platform for the very first time, I'll take this time to urge you to support this channel by subscribing and click on the bell so that you'll be alerted when new content is uploaded each week. Okay, so what is multi-factor authentication? Although this form of authentication is not really a new concept, many are still not aware of what it is. It's a technology used to ensure that the user is indeed the one who he says or who she says he or she is by requiring him or her to provide at least two unique pieces of identification that prove their true identity. The main goal of multi-factor authentication is to make it more difficult for hackers and rogues to gain access to sensitive user information. Even if the attacker or the rogue manages to get hold of your password and compromise your account, he still has to pass, well, he or she still has to pass at least one more barrier before successfully getting into your account. So you can see how multi-factor authentication is beneficial. While this might appear to sound quite technical or overcomplicated, you've most likely used multi-factor authentication in your day-to-day -day life without even realizing it. How do I know? You use the ATM, right? You scan a card and you have to enter a PIN. That is multi-factor authentication, all right? Okay, so it's not new. It's been with us for a while. The clinic is just urging us to sign up to uh, multi-factor authentication when prompted by our banks, um, our email vendors and all those because it is useful. We've shared videos on enabling multi-factor authentication on our social media and now I'm extending it to all platforms because it is useful, okay? So what, what are the technologies? You, you may not know what they are, um, the authentication technologies. I'm sure many of you who use Backlays, for example, know about Pin Sentry. You've heard the word secure ID tokens. All those are the hardware-based uh, part of the authentication process where you need um, a, a certain pin generated from your security token you know you also have a software based um, token they're called soft tokens they are also used to generate passwords which you will use to authenticate yourself you have biometric authentication um, and that's fingerprints. Most of us now have it on the on our phones. You have face ID security. Those are the biometric authentication methods. And you, then you have the mobile authentication. And those are usually via SMS or a phone call. So all these processes or all these technologies are are there to assist us in, in, in walking through multi-factor authentication. Okay, so what are the benefits of multi-factor authentication? Increased security is the first. Passwords are generally considered obsolete because we set them to weak. We have um, videos that show us how to set strong and complex passwords. And so uh, an added um, element to that authentication process will increase security. The second is fraud protection. So number of users on the internet increase, so are the rogues. 
So anything that can prevent the hacker from gaining access to our sensitive information surely is a very good thing. And then third, a simplified logging in process. You have something that only you know, you have something that only you have, and you have something that only you are. Something you know, your password, something you have, a secure ID token, and something you are, fingerprint or face ID. Combining those three, you're armed, okay? So those three are the benefits, amongst many, of multi-factor authentication. So in summary, the clinic advises all its members to use multi-factor authentication whenever you can. It's a useful ally in protecting your most sensitive data. Okay? Thank you. I'm aware that many of us, not all, many of us, don't pay the, the, the required attention whilst working on laptops, computers, and tablets. I'm sure you're wondering how I know. I know because I'm a user just like you. We're often quite intimidated by some messages that we see pop up on our screens, especially when they're quite long and wordy. The message will often end with a call to action. Click here, skip, install, later, etc. Oftentimes we don't stop to consider the implications of our choices because we just want to get on with the work that we're doing at the time. The clinic advises that we must pause, breathe, and read each message that pops up on the screen. Each one. I know it's a burden, but reach, read each. You see, the rogue is counting on the fact that you and I are going to be too busy to bother about what option to choose. And often, the first option you choose is the disastrous option that gets to install some rogue software or just some nasties onto our system. So we must pay attention to what we're clicking. Pay attention to the choice we're making. Skip does not always mean skip. It could mean skip to do something else. If we don't read it, we will not know because it's always in small print. So the clinic advises that we must take heed Pay attention, as I said, pause, breathe, and make sure that we are not, you know, exploited by these rogues who are counting, I repeat it, they're counting on the fact that we are always so too busy to pay attention to the things that are happening in front of us, okay? Be careful and be safe. All right, the PowerPoint for this week, he who keeps instruction is in the way of life, but he who refuses correction goes astray. I'm your host, Cyber Pastor Lawrence Edem. Until next week, God bless and goodbye.